Hello everyone, welcome to Payment Tech Media. In this video you are going to learn how to convert hexadecimal number to a binary number. So hexadecimal number is base 16 number and we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E and F. Binary is base 2 system. We have 0 and 1. So in order to keep the single digit here in hexadecimal number, we see A, B, C, D, E, F. Basically, A in hexadecimal number system corresponds to 10 in decimal number. B is 11, C is 12, D 13, E 14, F 15. We need to keep in mind that for every hexadecimal number, we have 4 bits. For example, if we have hexadecimal number of 0, we have... 4 bits and for hexadecimal number of let's say 8 we still have 4 bits and for hexadecimal number of f we still have 4 bits let's put the decimal values 1 2 4 8 1 2 4 8 1 2 4 8 so 0 it's 4 bits all turned off 8 only this one turned on f all of them turned on 8 plus 4 that's 12 plus 2 that's 14 plus 1 that's 15 f corresponds to 15 in decimal number system therefore for every hex number we have four bits now depending on the number some of the bits turned on some of them turned off that said now let's go ahead convert one hexadecimal number to a binary number let's say hexadecimal number of cd4 so what we need to do first, we have to separate C, D, and 4. Next, we have to put 4 bits for every hex. And let's put the decimal values, 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8. Because this is hexadecimal per hex, we have 4 bits, we see 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8. For the binary is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and so on. So remember for every hex we have 4 bits and the decimal values goes from 1 to 8. 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8 for every hex number. Okay, so this here we can see C. C hexadecimal is equivalent to 12. Let's write down 12 here. D is equivalent to 13. Let's write down 13 here. All right, in order to get 12, which one do we have to turn on? 8 and 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. So only 8 and 4 is on. 2 and 1 turned off. What about 13? 8, 4, 0, 1. So 8 plus 4, 12 plus 1, 13. And for 4, only 4 is turned on. Okay, now we have our binary number. Let's put all the binaries together. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Therefore, hexadecimal number of CD4 is equivalent to 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 in binary number system. Now let's take a look using calculator. So we want to change the view from standard view to the programmer view. Making sure hexadecimal is selected. Hex CD4 entering CD4. Here we can see CD4. And it gives us this binary number. 1100, and then 0100, Let's go over another example, F, B, 7. So what we need to do first, separate them. This is F, B, 7. 4 bits for F, 4 bits for B, and 4 bits for 7. So F hexadecimal is equivalent to 15. Let's write 15 here. And B hexadecimal equivalent to 11. Let's write 11 here. Now let's write the decimal values. 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 
4, 8. So for 15, which one do we have to turn on? All of them. For 11, B, 11, which one do we have to turn on? 8 plus 2, that's 10 plus 1. So 4 is off. For 7, which one do we have to turn on? 8 is off. 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7. This is our binary for FB7 hexadecimal number. So FB7 hexadecimal is equivalent to 11111101111 in binary number system. Let's take a look using the calculator, changing the view from standard view to a programmer view. And we want to make sure hexadecimal is selected and entering FB7. FB7. And here we can see the first group, four ones, here four ones. 1011 1011. 0111011. So quick recap, every time when we see hexadecimal and we want to convert it to a binary, first we have to separate every hex, here we can see F, B and 7. And then putting 4 bits per hexadecimal number and then decimal value and then converting to the binary. So here F is 15, all of them turned on to get 15. B is equivalent to 11, as we can see here, so only 8, 2, and 1 turned on to get to 11. And 7, 4, 2, and 1 turned on. Then we can put all these binaries together. This is our binary number for this hexadecimal number. This was a quick overview of how to convert hexadecimal number to a binary number. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again. Have a good day.